Let's talk about the National Sport Exchange. A day after the Forward Markets Commission pulled up the NSEL, there have been some changes made in the top management. The FMC has won the exchange that it may lose its fit and proper criteria. Jayashree is standing by with some more details on the way forward and what's likely to happen next, Jayashree. Well, can you just give you a background? A 92.14 crore is the only amount of pain that has come in as uh, versus 174 crores of payout that was expected as of yesterday. And still the payouts haven't ha happened to the brokers. And that is the reason why the Forward Markets Commission has taken a firm stance against NSCL and the entire board of management of NSCL. What the FMC chairman is clearly stating is that that the uh, NSCL, that is the National Sport Exchange, and the entire board is at the risk of losing the fit and proper criteria to run any kind of a sport exchange or a commodity exchange from this point forward if there is a non-compliance or not giving a clear uh, distinct information or the information that is not reconciling with the previous information that they have been giving. And apart from that, they also do not believe that the management is committed enough to meet the pay payout obligations. So what uh, in all this scenario, what has been happening, there has not been a consistency about the information that the exchange has been giving to the FMC as well as in the public domain. There has been information changing at least three times in only seven days. And that is the reason why the FMC chairman has taken this stance. So clearly it is also going to have a fallout on Jignesha, who is a, the vice chairman of the uh, NSCL board because he himself, because uh, this entire thing goes on to the board of management. So let's also have a look at what the FMC chairman uh, talked to us yesterday. As you know, uh, you have a copy of the letter that FMC has written to the board of directors, reminding them that it is exclusively their responsibility to ensure settlement and that uh, if this is not ensured, then uh, their status as a fit and proper person may be under serious question. Sir, but when you are saying that Still, any time frame that you have given to other certain things or any final uh, number of days that you want them to uh, set the house in order because now it's almost three weeks that this has been going on to and fro. See, we have taken the failure of NSCL to honor their settlement uh, obligations on the day, first day of the payout very seriously and uh, we have written to the board of directors accordingly and uh, we will wait for their response. And uh, FMC is going to view any failure, such any such failure, very seriously. All right, that's the that's the view coming in from the FMC.